G'day, hey gang, Steve from I'm Enough Coaching just jumping on to share with you something that's just popped into my mind. I did a post the other day and I asked, do you want 2022 to be better than 2021? And I got loads of responses and one of the responses that came through this morning was, is that a trick question? <laughs> I, I had a little chuckle and I was like, yep, yeah, it could have been a trick question. It's a bit obvious that most people would like 2022 to be better than 2021. But the real purpose behind the post was to raise the awareness, raise the curiosity, because every day we can do something that's going to enhance and improve tomorrow. So, yes, we all want the next year to be better than this year. But the question really meant, what are you actually doing? What are you actually taking part in right now? to ensure that tomorrow is better than today. How are you starting to look at yourself? How are you approaching this? What's your strategy? Do you even have a strategy? For me, personally, I signed up to two trainings. I've just invested $10,000 into myself so that I can start to ensure that 2022 is better than 2021. I'm doing John Maxwell's Leadership Coaching Program. And I'm also doing a publishing program about being able to write a book. So this is what I'm starting to do to ensure that 2022 is a better year. It doesn't mean that I wait until New Year's Day and say, hey, 2022 is here. Great, let's crack on. Let's make a better day. What I do is I go, what can I do now? What one thing can I do now? And this is where the one percenters come in. And this is something that I share with my clients a lot. I ask them, what one thing can you change from today that's going to make tomorrow better? Now, these are three questions that I ask myself. Now, I'm doing a podcast. There's a podcast coming out on Saturday next week, which covers off this. But one of the three questions is, how can I improve? What can I make the day? What can I do better tomorrow to, than I did today? What didn't go so well today? I find that one thing, that one thing, and I go off and do it. So, you know, the question, is it a trick question? No. There's a purpose behind it. And the purpose is to start to think about this, raising our subconscious awareness into our conscious awareness. Because if we don't raise it from our subconscious into our conscious, then it just stays in that zone. So I hope that this maybe has given you some food for thought. And I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. What things are you currently doing so that you can have a better 2022 than 2021? All right. Wherever you are in the world, whatever you're up to, stay safe and I'll speak again soon. Derek.